five ways rich people make money with debt. Did you know that wealthy people have the most amount of debt? In some cases, a wealthy person will have millions, if not billions of dollars of debt and still be a billionaire. Well, in this episode, I'm gonna share with you all of the ways that you can actually use debt to make money just like the rich do. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, or you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Wealthy people have the most amount of debt, literally millions, if not billions, of dollars in debt because, in many cases, the debt that they use, they create in order to make money. They actually will use debt to get income producing assets. So, in other words, if you want to be wealthy, if you want to be rich, you are going to have to take a smaller amount of money and trade it for a larger amount of money. But the key is it does not have to be your money. You are not going to save your way to rich. You are not going to work your way to rich. You actually will trade money for a larger amount, a smaller amount for a larger amount. You get it. All right, so let's get into the five ways right now. Before we get started, if you want me to teach you in an entire class, go to noellesfreeclass.com right now. I'm always teaching a free class. It's over an hour long and I can get into detail. And in many cases, it is interactive where you can ask me questions. Number one, real estate investments using traditional mortgages. Yes, most people will say that a traditional mortgage will not make you rich. And that is absolutely correct but it is a great way to get an asset and use borrowed money in order to get it. However, just living in the house is not going to make you rich. Most cases, the property will go up in value and each month when you are paying the mortgage down, you will be getting more equity. So you are getting the combination of appreciation and you are getting more equity every single month. However, you're not actually getting any cash flow. So in many cases, what people will do is that first house that you get, you can buy as a primary residence and yes, you will live in it. You will put down maybe even a small down payment like 3% or 5%. You may even use like an FHA loan, which is a government backed loan, which allows a first time home buyer to get a home with just three and a half percent down. It is what I use to get my first primary residence and that is what most people will do. But here is the key. You will then turn that property into a rental property. At some point, you have to start getting investments where someone else is paying that mortgage for you and the property is still going up in value over time so that you can truly start building wealth through that equity. And then you can even tap into that equity and get even more rental properties. This is an amazing way to start making money using debt. Now, again, traditional mortgages are an amazing thing to use. Like I said, if you are a veteran, instead of just like a person that was not a veteran and you might use an FHA loan. Well, if you're a veteran, you can even use a 100% loan through the VA. There's actually VA loans that allows people that used to be in the military, whether it be the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, to get a VA loan that will allow you to put no money down, move into the property, and then again, in a few years, a few months, you can turn that property into your rental property. And then you actually could then even pull some of that equity out and get another rental property and actually start getting a return on your investment that is over 50%. Let me keep explaining because there are so many ways to do this. And that is just one very simple way that many people know. Number two, BRRRR. BRRRR is a method that is B-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R, which stands for buy renovate or rehab, rent, refinance, and then repeat. This will allow you to buy a property that is distressed. Maybe you will find a property through some of the things that I teach you in my masterclass. Again, you can go to noellesfreeclass.com and I can teach you lots of different methodologies in order to find properties that are distressed with distressed sellers so that you can get them for pennies on the dollars. Well, if you do this, you literally can have a property that may need some renovations. Well, there are actually loans designed exactly for investors like hard money loans, where you can buy a property using a hard money loan or even using business credit or business financing, which I'll get to in just a second. You can buy those properties for pennies on the dollar, renovate them or rehab them. That's the first R then rent the property out, meaning find a tenant. Now they are paying the mortgage. Then you will refinance, 
meaning paying off that hard money loan or that business loan that you use to acquire the property, and then you will repeat. You can do this over and over and over again. In fact, many people have become millionaires in real estate doing this exact method. Did you know that more than 89% of all millionaires have been created so through real estate? And did you know that almost 100% of them use other people's money? Well, this is the case with Burr. This is an amazing way to use debt in order to make money because not only will you be getting the cash flow from someone renting the property, you actually will be building equity and getting more money that you can leverage because the property is going to go up in value over time. And don't forget, you bought the property in a distressed situation, so you bought it with equity, then you renovated it, so you put even more um, equity into the property by renovating it, that makes the value go up, and now someone is paying the mortgage down, growing your equity, and the property is going up in value over time. This is amazing. This is what so many people have done to get rich, including your girl, Noelle Randall. This is what I did. And again, if you want a full class on this, just go to noellesfreeclass.com where I can get into even more detail. And again, this is a live class where you can ask questions. Okay, let's keep going. Number three, HELOCs. HELOC stands for Home Equity Line of Credit. As I mentioned before, you literally can use debt to get rich. Therefore, when you have a portfolio of rental properties or you have a portfolio of properties, maybe even they're just properties that you have or properties that you inherited or it's a home that you live in right now, you can access that equity through what's called a home equity line of credit. This will allow you to pull out the equity. However, your payments will be based on the amount that you use. So let's give you an example right now. Let's say you have a house and it is valued at $300,000. Well, let's just say you owe $100,000 on that house. Well, you would have $200,000 worth of equity, right? Well, you could access a line of credit for that $200,000, maybe actually not the full amount of $200,000. Maybe you would only be able to get a home equity line of credit for $100,000 and then you would keep $100,000 worth of equity. Well, now you can use that $100,000 home equity line of credit to go and purchase and get more rental properties. You can even do this with previous rental properties that you got. So you can get a HELOC on one of your rental properties or an investment property. You can get a HELOC on a second home. You can get a HELOC on a property that you own free and clear. Literally, this is how rich people will get access to the equity that they have in a, pro in a property and literally use that equity to buy more rental properties. Again, more income producing assets, more properties that are creating cash flow for them, more properties that are going up in value through appreciation and more properties that they are growing their equity, which creates more personal net worth. Home equity lines of credit, again, are amazing way to build wealth because one, if you just have equity in a property that you are not using, well, that's fine. That goes towards your personal wealth. However, if you take that equity out and you purchase more income producing assets, again, you don't even have to make payments on the entire line of credit. It's only for the amount that you use. So in the example that I gave where you took a home equity line of credit out, on a property that you owed $100,000 on that first mortgage, that payment would stay the same. You would then get that HELOC that has $100,000, and then you would still have $100,000 worth of equity in the property. Well, when you take that HELOC out for $100,000, and just say you put down $20,000 on a property, well, you would only make payments on the $20,000, and then you would still have the $80,000 on the line of credit, that you could use and keep and you don't have to make payments on. Again, you're only making payments on the amount you use, very similar to a credit card. This is amazing and with a savvy investor, you can get lots of rental properties and in fact turn one property into five properties really easily using HELOC. Again, if you want an entire class where I go into this in more detail, go to noellesfreeclass.com. Now let's keep going because there are more ways to make money using debt. Let me continue. Number four, leveraged buyouts. 
Leverage buyouts is an amazing way that very wealthy people use to get richer and richer and richer. You may have heard of people like Mitt Romney, for example, or you know his company Bain Capital, or maybe you've even heard of Blackstone. Well, these companies are very, very wealthy because in, in many cases, they will do what's called leverage buyouts. They will buy a company then borrow money against the assets of the company to repay themselves for the money that they use to buy the company and then use the company to make more money. This is an amazing way that you can actually buy businesses without using any of your own money. Leverage buyouts have been around for over 100 years and many, many wealthy billionaires, millionaires, they use leverage buyouts to create more wealth. The key to a leverage buyout is finding a company that has assets that you can leverage. The word leverage means borrow, okay? Leverage means borrowed. So in other words, let's give you an example. You have a company and maybe it's a dentist office, for example, and this dentist has had this practice for 20 or 30 years and now he's ready to retire and sell. Well, you literally could buy that company using the assets inside the business and never have to pay any money in order to acquire that company. You literally would go to a bank and a bank would lend you money based on the value of the assets in that business. For example, all of the equipment, all of the dental chairs, all of the different patients, what the last two years worth of revenue was in that business. A bank will literally lend you money based on all of the assets in that business and then you would buy that business. Then you could actually get a loan against all of those things and repay yourself back for all of the money that you borrowed in order to acquire that business. This has been done on a large, large scale through private equity and venture capital for many, many years. This is a way that many rich people become wealthy by doing leverage buyouts and using borrowed money to acquire income producing assets like businesses. Number five, and this is my absolute favorite one, business credit. You literally can start borrowing money in your business's name in order to acquire income producing asset. Yes, you literally can use business credit and business funding where you borrow, you create an entity. Let's start with what you need to do. You have to have an actual business, whether it be an LLC, a C Corp or an S Corp that's registered with the Secretary of State. You have an EIM, an employer identification number. You set up a business where you can be found on the internet. In other words, a website. And then you can literally walk into a bank and get a business credit card a business line of credit or a business loan, even with a new business. Literally, I made an entire video of five banks that you can walk into right now and get $50,000. And in fact, you can do that at all five of those banks and walk away with $250,000. Now, the key to getting rich doing this is that you would then take that money and buy an income producing asset. So you start a business, like I just said, then you walk into a bank, Chase Bank, for example, they give you $50,000, great. Now put $20,000 down on a rental property and now you start receiving income for a property using borrowed money. You literally do not even have to buy the property. As I mentioned, you can do a lease, but more importantly, you can do a lease with a purchase option, for example meaning you will lease the property. So you go into Chase Bank, like I said, they give you $50,000. You lease a property. Maybe you only spend $5,000 to acquire that. Then you start renting the property out, put it on Airbnb, home away, or even buy an office, for example, and then subdivide the offices out and then lease them out to different people. And then you have an option to purchase that property at a later time. And again, you got that cash flow coming in because you're leasing the property out, whether it be a single family home, a town home, or even a commercial piece of property. Then you also have the ability to start making money and paying back that loan. And then as you're getting that cash flow and getting more income, then you could purchase the property and now you own that piece of property. And this will help you with risk because you leased it. If for example, the property is not making the money that you want, you could just break the lease or end the lease and then move on to your next piece of property. In fact, I mentor people all the time on how to use business credit and business funding to get income producing assets and become rich and wealthy. If you are interested in learning this, 
you can go to noelrandall.com forward slash PLF, which stands for Portfolio Launch Formula, which is my exact formula for using business credit and business funding to buy income producing assets without using your social security number or your personal credit in order to get all of these different things. You literally can have an entire portfolio of rental properties and investments without using any of your own money. You actually can create a business, get business funding, and use all of that money in order to get yourself rich. Again, noelrandall.com forward slash PLF for portfolio launch formula. Go there right now. So there are so many different ways to use debt in order to get rich. Literally, if you want more information, you should check out the portfolio launch formula because I can teach you how even if you have bad credit, how to get really good credit and then how to get business credit and business funding to buy income producing assets. Again, go to noelrandall.com forward slash PLF. That's Noel Randall, N-O-E-L-L-E, Randall, R-A-N-D-A-L-L, dot com forward slash P-L-F for portfolio launch formula. Please go there, check out this course because this will be life-changing for so many people. I'm just doing this because I wanna make sure that you have all of the knowledge, all of the tools, and all of the resources that you need to be successful. This is Noel, to your success.